Hey, what's up guys? Second Kirby over here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the modular screens from RF Tools. Now these screens are very versatile in the way they work. So basically, first thing I want to point out, they do not take power themselves. In, in, instead, a screen controller takes them. Screen controller. Let's let's show that recipe. These and these take four redstone, three glass, an ender pearl, and a machine frame from RF Tools to make. The RF Tools machine frame requires two lapis, two gold nuggets, and four iron ingots. Note this is and uh, this is the vanilla RF Tools recipe. This is not the FTB Infinity recipe, which is stone and a, and a resonant machine frame. Anyway, uh, so screen, so screen controller can uh, see a screen controller can find all screens within like a 65 block radius and like 36 blocks up and down or something, and uh, and power them. A fully infused screen controller will uh, will cost uh, will uh, allow it to search in a bigger range. So basically, once you have your screen controller put down, you need to have power. So let's get my creative energy cell. This thing has power now. Scan. This, ha this has one this has one connected screen now the catch is this screen does not have uh, the screen does not have any modules yet so it can't do anything so let's get some modules so here's here's one the redstone uh, the redstone module this and uh, this redstone module allows you to apply redstone to something so say for example oh this is a this is for this is for use with the um, the redstone receiver and transmitter from RF Tools. Okay. Mhm. Mm fluid. Okay. So fluid modules. This is this is a good one. You can you can see the current you can see the current amount of fluid in a tank. So say for example I wanted to monitor the rain tank. Let's put that module in. Let's put that module in here. Open that. And it uh, and it now shows me how much uh, how much water is in that is in that rain tank, which is none. Dimension module. Here's another one. The dimension module allows you. Uh, so the dimension the dimension module allows you to uh, allows you to monitor and, uh, and allows you to monitor dimension and show uh, show how much uh, how much RF is in it if it's a if it's an if it's an RF tool dimension. So say for example in my in my solo world I wanted to monitor how much RF was left in my uh, demon invasion world, then I would be able to do that. The inventory module, uh, let's see, the inventory module allows you to allows you to see what is in the current inventory that the that the module is linked to. So let's get uh, that's an inventory plus. And the plus modules, uh, the plus modules uh, have a longer range. Just so you guys know, let's see, where is it? There it is. Regular inventory module. Now, I don't have a. Oh, smeltery controller. That'll work. So, uh, so I sh I shift right clicked on the uh, on the block that I wanted to monitor. Then I can put it in, and I can sh I can then see. Let's see. Select index to show. So, okay. So if you're if you guys are familiar with uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, with like uh, indexes from uh, from like programming languages. You know, you know the index has start has started zero and 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 has started zero and go on. So basically, basically this is um, showing slot, uh, slot number one, two, three, four. The inventory plus module will allow you to see more of that. The counter, uh, the counter mod, uh, the counter and counter plus modules allow you to uh, increment the count uh, the the RF tools counter by one each. Um, uh, so this and uh, so with. So this allows you to see the current status of your RF tools counter. Energy module. This allows you to see how much energy is stored in a certain block. So I can and I can see I can see how much power is in the I can see how much power is in the RF uh, is in the creative energy cell, which doesn't exactly work because it's infinite energy. Let's just send it to the screen controller so that we can see how much energy is in there. Yep, that works. The computer module allows you to uh, allows you to link to a computer craft or open computer's computer and see uh, and see the status of it. It uh, so if we put it in, the contents of this module is controlled with a computer. It only works with open computers or a computer craft. So and tag used by Lua to identify modules. So basically, basically, and basically the tag the tag that you put in your Lua script uh, needs to be needs to be put into this uh, needs to be put into this module. 
Machine information module gives you information about a machine. Cleared, what? Weird. That's weird. A supported machine, okay, well. Well, hmm. The matter, matter transmitter works. Okay, so, yeah, this uh, this gives, yeah, this gives information about uh, this gives information about the uh, uh, about certain blocks. So this, uh, so the matter transmitter right now is set to the uh, set to dimension it's uh, dialed to coordinate it's dialed to name of the dimension. Okay, text modules are uh, pretty simple. They just uh, they just allow you to put text in there. Uh, hello world. <laughs> I'm suddenly a computer pro I'm, I'm suddenly a computer program. The button module. This uh, this uh, this allows you to and uh, this allows you to uh, so and so there there's more information on the on the modules if you want more information on them. There's also an RF tools manual. So I'll see. So sneak right click on a redstone receiver to set a channel for this module and also set it to the receiver. You can also use this on a transmitter already set receiver to copy the channel to the button. As far as I'm concerned, wasn't there a... You can only use this on a resident receiver slash transmitter. Good to know. The clock module allows you to see the current time in the world. So, I have it. I have the I have the time in the world permanently set to noon, so that way mobs don't spawn and it doesn't get dark during my tutorials. So, I think that's fair. And... That's all, and that's all for the modules that I can show you. So let's actually show the screen recipe, and let's also get some of the stuff from the last tutorial out of my out of my inventory. All right, so the screen. In order to make it, you're going to need five glass, and three iron, and a machine base. Machine base is made with three gold nuggets and three stone. Pretty simple, actually. Not even sure. I'm not sure what it is in FDB and Infin Infinity Evolved, but uh, it is not that. So you can actually make screens. Uh, you can actually make screens bigger and transparent by using a wrench on them. So let's put let's put it two by two, and use my Yetta wrench. See, made it uh, made it. Uh, I made it transparent there for a second. Uh, wait. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. There we go. I got it fixed. There's still screens here though. What the heck? Whoa. Okay, I don't know what is going on. That's just weird. Hmm. There it is. Okay. Well, may I try something different. So if you want to make a two by two screen, you need to you need to uh, you need to do that, because otherwise things get weird. Anyway, alrighty guys, that will do it for this Modern Minecraft tutorial over the modular screens from RF Tools. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel, so it helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials in the future, let me know uh, Let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or message it to me on Google+. No, mes mention me on Twitter or on Google+, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Later!